Wiki, 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 Wiki Leaks. And here to bring you all the details is Courtney. What can you tell us, Courtney? That's right, Space Rogue. WikiLeaks publicized numerous diplomatic cables detailing some rather embarrassing communications regarding the U.S.'s allies. But I'll let Jon Stewart handle that part of it. As for what we at H&N are interested in reporting, one of the cables supposedly says that the attacks that hit Google last December did, in fact, come from China. Oh, another interesting tidbit is that the United States evidently turned down several proposed compromises by the British in regards to the extradition of Gary McKinnon, who's still fighting his extradition from the UK on charges of breaking into NASA back in 2001. Of course, these cables all have names removed, so there's no way to verify these claims. Also in the news is the return of the gesture, who claimed responsibility for launching a denial of service attack against WikiLeaks just moments before they were scheduled to publicize tons of juicy documents. I profiled gesture right here on H&N several months ago. He claims to have a custom piece of software he calls Xerxes that he says can disable most any web server for as long as he wants using low bandwidth application layer style attacks. Normally, Gesture targets terrorist recruitment and communication websites, but apparently he was none too happy with the WikiLeaks decision to release the cables. Then earlier this week, someone claiming to be the Gesture said that he had been raided by local police. Not really clear if this has actually happened or not, and this whole raid business is looking pretty hoaxy. Only the Gesture knows, for now, I guess. H&N has the link to Gesture's blog and other sources at hackernews.com. And theories as to what really happened in regards to Gesture's supposed raid, including notions that the Gesture himself staged the whole thing, are surfacing on the web. It all seems a bit of a mess right now, I know. But one positive outcome of Cablegate is that companies and even governments are increasing their security in an effort to prevent leaks from happening to them. That's all I got for now. Back to you, Space Rogue. Thanks, Courtney. I think this story is going to continue to take some weird turns, but we'll keep following it.